Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. This is my sixth attempt at this video. <laughs> I had the police helicopter flying overhead for 20 minutes here. They kept interrupting and and then I was seven minutes into the video and it just shut off here. So I don't know what's going on with that. So anyway, I deleted all the old videos that I had on the phone. And thought maybe I'd run out of room, something, I don't know. But I'm almost done with this bowl now. I am smoking my Bari squash. Wonderful pipe. And in it, I am smoking some... H.U. Port Latakia. Wonderful tobacco. If you haven't tried the H.U. blends, if you're able to get your hands on them, try them. They are amazing. That one in particular is just an incredible tobacco. I had three of those tins. And uh, that's my last one. I just opened that up on Sunday at Pipe Club. So what I wanted to talk about tonight is picking the right pipe for you. Uh, for me, when I started smoking, I loved full bent pipes. I, I loved them. I thought they were, you know, just beautiful looking pipes. And so that's what I bought. And they gurgled like a son of a gun. Now, granted, I was smoking a lot of aromatics at, at that time, you know, right off the shelf. No drying time, no nothing, so they were pretty moist. But... I had a bunch of those pipes and they were just gurglers. Every single one of them gurgled. And I just thought that was part of smoking a pipe that they gurgled, you know. So I was always running pipe cleaners through my pipes. And then I got a straight billiard. And I had no more gurgle from that pipe. That was the only pipe I had that didn't gurgle. So I got a, another one and another one and another one and none of them gurgled. And then I got a quarter bent billiard. I mean a quarter bent bulldog. Just a little bent bulldog that smoked incredible. The same, had no gurgles at all. So it took me a while, but I, f I learned for me that the full bent pipes just gurgled too much for me. And so I, I went and I got a Savinelli 320. And that became the pipe for me. It was far and away my favorite smoking pipe. And so I wound up starting a collection of those. And I, I've got 10 now, I think. I've given a few away over the years. I'm about done with this pipe here if we can get a little more out of it. But I learned the shape of the pipe that I enjoy the most, and that was a straight pipe. If you watch my videos, you'll see that most of the time I'm smoking either a straight pipe or a maybe a quarter bent to a half bent. And 
I find that those give me the best smokes. So if you're starting out smoking, what I would recommend doing is find the pipe that looks the best to you and get that one. And then your next pipe, get a completely different shape and see which one you enjoy smoking the most. If one of them gives you a better smoke than the other. And there are guys that love the bent pipes and have no problems with them. But for me, the way I smoked and, you know, I was smoking the aromatics at the time when I first started. So, and they were wet. I never dried any tobacco out. Uh, so that caused a lot of the problem I was having. But it didn't happen on the straight pipes or the, the quarter bent pipes. So I would recommend getting two completely separate shapes of pipes. Either get, get like a full bent and a straight pipe and see which one is the most comfortable for you to smoke, which one gives you the best smoke. And just learn from that. Learn from your your experience of smoking the pipes and, and the different pipes and which ones smoke the best for you. Because some guys can smoke certain pipes and have no problems with them and another guy will smoke that same exact pipe and it'll be a problem for them. So I'm not telling you don't get full bent pipes because there are many guys who smoke them and have no problems with them. but they are by far my favorite looking pipe. <laughs> so I only have a couple of them. Yeah, this is about out here, I think. But... It's important to learn from your experience and to pay attention to your experience with each kind of pipe. Um, gurgling shouldn't, you know, is, is something that shouldn't happen in a pipe. It's certain pipes are gurglers. They can be the same shape. And one pipe will be a gurgler and another one won't. So get yourself different styles of pipes to start out with. And just see which ones give you the most satisfying smoke for you. And then focus on that style. I mean, it's fine having you know every pipe style if you want. And they may all smoke wonderfully for you. Um, but I'm just giving you my experience with pipes. But it, it's important to pay attention to your experience with the pipe as you're smoking it. And, and, deci and using that experience to decide on the perfect shape for you. So for me, it's the majority of my pipes are straight pipes now. And uh, I have a couple of bent ones, a couple of full bents, and a lot of quarter bent, half bent. I just I wanted to, to just kind of discuss that today because I know that was something that took me 
a while to figure out. So if you're new to pipe smoking and you're having a gurgling problem with whatever shape pipe you're using, switch to a different shape. See if that gurgle goes away. If you're getting it on both, then I would dry out your tobacco. You may be a wet smoker and uh, just have, you know, a lot of wetness in your pipe as you're smoking because that's how you smoke. And in that case, you need pipe cleaners around. But I can go now, you know, whole smokes pretty much without having to. Use a pipe cleaner. So that's done. That pipe is done. But um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about tonight. Finally got through this with no interruptions. And uh, it was just something I thought I would share my experience with with different shapes of pipe sm pipes and how they affected my smoking pleasure. So I hope that helps and uh, take it for what it's worth. Um, you know, I'm no pipe expert by any means. I'm just telling you what worked for me. And uh, so I will catch you guys later. Have a good night. God bless.